This video is brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. D'Amico Ryans, he's beloved in Houston, but is he actually underrated? And is there an opportunity to make money off that alleged disrespect? Football season's here. Let's talk about D'Amico. Let's talk about that moolah, baby. Let's go inside the locker room. What it is, let's get it. Hey, locker room. Yeah, we in the locker room. Texas talk. Yeah, you know what we about to do. Localize every angle is what we really do. We the source. We the post of the city, too. D'Amico Ryans, he's beloved around here. I think he's beloved around the NFL. But can a case be made that D'Amico Ryans is actually underrated? I, I think there's a decent case to be made. It is a locker room number one source for Texans digital content. This video uh, is powered by BetUS. Uh, if you're looking for a new sports book this season, BetUS is the answer. They got the fastest payouts in the industry, you get 125% sign-up bonus up to $2,000 uh, right now. Fast and easy deposit withdrawal process. Very, very easy. 24-7 personalized service uh, all year long. They got live wagering. Everybody loves a good live wager. Uh, the props, insane. The props are absolutely insane. You can go bet. A lot of people say, I don't want to bet on the preseason. I don't want to bet on, on, on a Texans versus Bears preseason game. Well, they got the lineup for week two, so you can go bet on it when it actually counts. You can bet on any game right now while it actually counts. And you also get 10% back on your net losses, which might be good for a crappy gambler like myself. Uh, and they can give you your own personal account manager. Uh, I got the link in the description. Check that out uh, and get in the game and let's make some moolah, which is where I want to start. D'Amico Ryans, the, the case for D'Amico being underrated. A lot of people might roll their eyes and say, well, you're, nobody thinks D'Amico's a bad coach. I get that. But when if I asked you to list the reasons for why the Texans are where they are, most likely the, the first name you would mention would be C.J. Stroud, right? Maybe not all of you, but it, but it seems like C.J. Stroud's kind of the face of the franchise. And look, the quarterback's the most important thing, and the best coach in the world's not going to go too far without a really good quarterback more times than not. But it doesn't feel like D'Amico Ryans gets enough credit for why CJ is what he is. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that he's a defensive minded head coach. Like offensive coaches are always going to get credit for quarterbacks. And we talk about Patrick Mahomes, we talk about Andy Reid and just how much of a dynamic duo they are. And we focus on scheme. But I think the mentality that D'Amico Ryans has, the culture that he's created, I think it's a perfect mix with CJ Stroud. And CJ's been mature beyond his years. So who knows? He probably could have gone somewhere else and put them on the fast track towards being one of the most highly praised teams in the NFL. But I don't think he would have done it as well without D'Amico. And I don't think when we think about defensive coaches and we go back to the hiring process with D'Amico Ryans and every single team that needed a coach wanted D'Amico Ryans, the, the biggest pushback was, well, D'Amico Ryans, he's a defensive coach. You want an offensive coach with your quarterback which I don't necessarily disagree with. I understand that line of thinking. And quite frankly, that line of thinking may return uh, once Bobby Slowick goes away, uh, once Gerard Johnson goes away. That may be tested. And the people who said that may be able to revisit that and say, see, I told you so. But if you look at what D'Amico did when he came to Houston, he brought the Shanahan offensive system. And I think that system fits C.J. Stroud perfectly. And I think that system a lot of times – I don't want to say it's quarterback proof, but it puts quarterbacks in the best position to succeed. So I actually think you can credit that with C.J. Stroud's success. And I actually think D'Amico uh, is a little bit underrated. Didn't win coach of the year last year. And a lot of you might be saying, OK, I, I'm, I'm not sold. I don't think D'Amico Ryans is underrated. Let's just follow the moolah. Let's look at this. Uh, let's look at this coach of the year betting lines. Uh, courtesy of BetUS. Let's look at this. Uh, this is powered by BetUS. Uh, Jim Harbaugh is 9-1 to one to win Coach of the Year. Matt LaFleur is 12-1. to one. Raheem Morris is 10-1. to one. And D'Amico Ryans is 14-1. to one. You're talking about a guy who whose team has really, really high expectations. Sometimes whenever a coach gets looked over for Coach of the Year, they, they kind of revisit it and maybe give him the award a little bit later. 14 to 1 seems like good value to me. Would you sprinkle 10 on that to win 140, 20 to win 280? 
You're a big timer, 100 to win a GER 0.4. That seems like pretty good value to me. It seems like he's kind of underrated to me. If you if you ask me, that's that's good value right there with D'Amico Ryans. I think it just kind of adds to the to the notion that he could be underrated. I don't think he gets enough credit. I don't think he's the first name that's mentioned. And if you ask me, the most important piece of the Texans and the the straw that stirs the drink, if you will, I think it's D'Amico Ryans. And I even think around here, there's kind of a notion that we love D'Amico because, you know, he used to be a Texan. And let's say he was uh, not as good of a coach as he was. He would still be just as beloved because he's D'Amico Ryans. But you also got to take into account everybody wanted D'Amico. I almost think his greatness gets kind of buried by the nostalgia. And, And maybe you don't have to pick and choose. Maybe it doesn't have to be one or the other. But I do think. That even if this guy, even if D'Amico Ryans, let's say he had started his career with the Colts or the Jags or the Cowboys or the Chargers or the Patriots, I think there would I I would still be just as excited about D'Amico Ryans because I think he's that great of a coach and I think he's that important to CJ Stroud. It is a locker room number one source for Texans digital content. Uh, This episode powered by bet us uh, use the link to get in the game and speaking of which let's just look at this real quick let's look at some of these money making opportunities uh, that you have with the texans just give you a little snippet of um, how you can make this bread so right now i have the lines pulled up for week one you can already bet on week one if you think the texans are going to beat the colts they're a two-point favorite on the road we can go all the way down to week two uh, the texans versus the bears you don't want to bet on the preseason Uh, Look at Texans versus Bears. Texans minus three and a half. Sunday night football. Going to be a hell of a game. You can go all the way down every single game that the Texans play. If you're feeling good about something, if you want to bet on them to beat the Cowboys, you can do that. I got every single week up here. uh, Minus three and a half against the Jags. You feeling that in week four. Uh, We go down to week five. It's it, it, every single game, Buffalo minus one and a half. Buffalo's coming to town. Stephon Diggs, if, if you want to jump on that, you can do that. You go down to the player prop section, and this is where I think BetUS kind of separates themselves and where you get the real opportunities. I pulled up the touchdowns. So you can bet on C.J. Stroud's total touchdowns. You can bet on, look at this, passing touchdowns for the regular season. You go all the way to Aaron Rodgers. C.J. Stroud over under 27 and a half passing touchdowns. Uh, the minus 15 line, you can go to receiving touchdowns, everything. Bet US has all the props. The props are absolutely insane. Um, and again, uh, 125% uh, bonus uh, if you uh, if you deposit uh, up to uh, $2,000. So they got that. Uh, they also got 100. They also got live wagering. Everybody loves a good live wager. Uh, 10% back on your net losses. Uh, And you can also get your own personal account manager uh, if you need that. I kind of just like to like to bet on my own. But if you need some guidance, you need someone to help you out, you need someone to guide you. uh, They got you covered there. So opportunities starting with D'Amico Ryans. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on that 14 to one coach of the year. I think that's a little bit disrespectful. I don't think he should. I mean, I get that Raheem Morris has Atlanta and Atlanta. The bar is so low. But I mean, D'Amico Ryans, come on. He can, I mean, he can get coach of the year, right? 14 to one. Seems like a pretty good deal. Uh, This video powered by BetUS live streams after every game, including tonight. Let me know, is D'Amico Ryan's underrated? Do you think he is? Yes or no? I actually do. I think he's the face of this franchise. Some people would say CJ Stroud. The beauty of it is you don't really have to choose. Football season is here. Gambling season is here. Appreciate everyone for coming through. Always remember when it comes to this Texan stuff, we're all in it together. This video is brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. The city too. Landlock, got the game in the headlock. Localize every time. Can't stop, won't stop. Yeah, we top two and we not too. Plugged in daily digital on YouTube. Uh, we got.